Welcome to the Atomic Habits Podcast, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results. I'm your host, and in each episode, we'll dive into the chapters of James Clear's groundbreaking book, Atomic Habits. Today, I'll be taking you through the key concepts and examples from the book. Let's get started. In Chapter 1, The Foundations of Atomic Habits, James Clear introduces us to the power of tiny changes and how they can lead to remarkable results. Let's explore some examples of atomic habits in action. Example 1, meet Sarah, a working professional who wanted to become more physically active. Instead of setting a daunting goal like running a marathon, Sarah started with a simple habit of committing to a 15-minute walk every day. Over time, this small change transformed her lifestyle, leading her to engage in more intense workouts and eventually complete a half marathon. Sarah's story highlights the power of starting small and building momentum over time. Now, let's move on to Chapter 2, The Science Behind Habit Formation. Clear delves into the neurological and psychological processes that drive habit formation. Understanding these processes can help us shape our habits intentionally. Example, John, a smoker who wanted to quit, learned about the habit loop, cue, craving, response, and reward. He identified that his cue was stress, which triggered a craving for a cigarette. Instead of giving in to the craving, John responded by practicing deep breathing exercises whenever he felt stressed. The reward he experienced was a sense of calm and relaxation. By understanding the habit loop and modifying his response, John successfully broke the smoking habit. In Chapter 3, The Power of Habit Stacking, Clear introduces us to the concept of habit stacking. This technique involves linking a new habit to an existing one, making it easier to adopt and maintain. For example, if you want to read more, you can stack it with an existing habit like having a cup of coffee in the morning. By making the new habit immediately follow the existing one, you create a clear cue and increase the chances of success. Example, Jane wanted to develop a reading habit. She decided to stack this new habit with her existing habit of drinking a cup of tea in the evening. Every time she sat down with her cup of tea, she would read for 10 minutes. By linking the new habit to an established one, Jane found it easier to incorporate reading into her daily routine, leading to a consistent reading habit. Moving on to Chapter 4, Make Habits Easy, Environment Design. Our environment plays a significant role in shaping our behaviors. Clear suggests making desired habits more visible, reducing friction for good habits, and creating cues that prompt the desired behavior. By optimizing our environment, we set ourselves up for success and make it easier to stick to our habits. Example, Mark wanted to eat healthier. He rearranged his kitchen by placing a bowl of fresh fruits on the counter, making them more visible and accessible. He also cleared his pantry of unhealthy snacks, reducing the friction to make healthy choices. By optimizing his environment, Mark found it easier to reach for nutritious options, ultimately improving his eating habits. Chapter 5 explores the role of identity in habit transformation. Clear emphasizes that lasting change occurs when we align our habits with the person we want to become. By focusing on building an identity-based habit, we reinforce our beliefs and create a positive feedback loop. For instance, if we see ourselves as a writer, we develop a habit of writing every day, which reinforces our identity and helps us achieve our writing goals. Example, Lisa wanted to become a more confident public speaker. She started by adopting the identity of a confident communicator. Before every speaking engagement, she would remind herself of her identity as a confident speaker. This mindset shift helped her approach presentations with more poise and gradually improved her speaking abilities. By aligning her habits with her desired identity, Lisa transformed her public speaking skills. In Chapter 6, How to Break Bad Habits, The 2-Minute Rule, Clear presents a powerful strategy for breaking bad habits. He suggests starting with a 2-minute version of the desired habit. 
For example, if you want to start exercising, begin with 2 minutes of stretching or a short walk. By starting small, you overcome the resistance to get started and build momentum towards a larger habit. Example, Tom wanted to reduce his time spent on social media. Instead of trying to quit cold turkey, he implemented the 2-minute rule. Whenever he felt the urge to check social media, he limited himself to a maximum of 2 minutes. This helped him break the cycle of mindless scrolling and gradually reduce his overall screen time. Chapter 7, Mastering the Art of Behavior Change offers practical techniques for behavior change, including habit shaping, reinforcement, and social support. CLEAR provides strategies to make behavior change more attainable and sustainable. Example, Sarah wanted to start meditating regularly. She joined a meditation group to tap into the power of social support. Being surrounded by like-minded individuals and participating in group meditation sessions provided her with motivation and accountability. Through the support of the group, Sarah established a consistent meditation practice. In Chapter 8, The Four Laws of Atomic Habits, Claire introduces four fundamental laws, make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. By applying these laws, we can create an environment that supports positive habits and eliminates barriers to success. Example, Chris wanted to develop a habit of regular exercise. He made his gym bag and workout clothes highly visible and easily accessible, make it obvious. He listened to energizing music during his workouts to make them more enjoyable, make it attractive. He chose a gym close to his office to minimize travel time, make it easy. After each workout, he rewarded himself with a healthy smoothie or a relaxing sauna session, make it satisfying. By applying these four laws, Chris successfully incorporated exercise into his routine. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Atomic Habits Podcast, Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results. I hope you found our exploration of James Clear's book insightful and inspiring. Turbo Re Recaps is your go-to source for concise summaries and key takeaways from the most popular self-help and personal development books out there. Each episode is designed to give you a turbocharged recap of the book, allowing you to grasp the main ideas and apply them to your own life in no time. Thank you once again for tuning into the Atomic Habits Podcast. Remember, it's the tiny changes that lead to remarkable results. Until next time, keep striving for excellence and embracing the power of atomic habits in your life.